5, 5, 4, 4, 3, 3, 2, 1, 1. KMTV. Special coverage. Special coverage. Mayor, 
we contemplated and decided that today is the best time for us to air our side and to explain to the people of Osapis um, our side of the story of what has been happening. Just to give a quick overview or a history, the one of the main issues that triggered this unwanted incidents, unforeseen and unnecessary situation was the census conducted by the Ozapis PNP. Now, it is true that there was a meeting between Police Major Espinido and I in my office with regards to the census, although details were not discussed and I prefer to keep it that way. When the project proposal was submitted to my office, because it concerns the whole city and all of the Osamistons, for that matter, I forwarded the project proposal to the Sangunian for their appropriate action. The Sangunian being an independent and clothed with the right authority to tackle and evaluate such proposal gave a, well, decided to disapprove but with some sort of reservations because um, later you will also hear them uh, they will give their quick response on the action that they've taken being the leader of the group being the head of the city and the head of the elected officials I decided to stand by the decision of the Sambunihan because when they when I called for a meeting and they explained to me their decision I individually asked them one by one if that was the sentiment of each member and all of them expressed their disapproval so listening to the wisdom and seeing also um, the nobility of the decision of the Sangunian, I decided to stand by them because I believe and I know that the city councillors along with the vice mayor did so in order to protect the interest of not only of the people of Osamis, but also the integrity of our local police. Now, in doing so, it triggered an unwanted reaction from the local police. We did not intend it to be that way. We did not have any intentions of insulting or as being alleged nga pakaulawan ang atong police by disapproving. In fact, when the meeting happened between the city councillors and your mayor, we did it discreetly so and we agreed that the lawyers of the council would humbly explain and air their side to our chief of police. We acknowledge and we are very much aware that the assignment of Police Major Joby Espinito in our city has brought great change in our city. Along with the people of Osamis, we, the elected officials, consider him as the hero that Osamis has longed to have for many decades that have passed. And without him, 
we could not enjoy this freedom that we have now. Freedom from oppression, freedom from fear, and freedom from uh, unwanted and the criminal syndicates. We have strong faith in his leadership and despite everything, we see him and we consider him as a great man who can continue the peace that has been started to retain and to bring long-lasting peace here in the city of Osamis. No doubt about it, I am sure you all agree with me. I am sure that everyone in this room and many of the people of Osamis, those who only want what is right, who only want what is just, what is fair, what is fair for the people, agree that having Police Major Jovi Espiritu here will continue to bring Osamis to greater heights and to maintain the peace and order that was started year, two years ago or more when he was assigned. So, the support of the LGU remains strong and in behalf of the elected officials of the city, we have Vice Mayor Bibineri of our 10 councillors and um, ABC Vice President John Doctor, I take full responsibility and I would like to apologize for what happened if in doing our job we were misunderstood if in doing if in fighting in standing by what we believe is right for the people of Osamis there was inappropriateness that happened or there was offense taken so in behalf of the officials I'd like to sincerely apologize to the people of Osamis and also to the members of the PNP who were offended and who felt betrayed by the actions the decision of the city government. I am the leader of the team, not only as their mayor, but ever since we filed our candidacy, we have remained strong and they have supported us, when they have supported me in all our advocacies. Our councillors have been giving us inspiration through the unity that they have shown. So I take responsibility for their actions and again, I apologize to the city of Osamis, to the people of Osamis, and to our local police. And I hope that we can move on from this unwanted and unproductive events that have transpired and continue in our quest towards Ascenso Ozamis. Continue to bring changes, to bring developments for our city in the years to come. And I would also like to give our Vice Mayor the chance to speak and our councillors present here so that they will be able to express their most sincere and humble apologies for the misinterpretation and as I mentioned in the, in the course of doing our job we only want what's best for Ozamis we only want what is best and what is right for the people we only want the people of Ozamis protected so if in doing so there was offense taken I apologize on behalf of the officials. After which, we will be ready to answer any questions that you would want to ask or to clarify. Thank you so much.
Now let's hear it from our NCT Vice Mayor and Honorable Simplicia Berminelli. Good morning to each and every one of us. Have a blessed day. Today is a very important day to all of us and for the people of Rosamis. The good Honorable Mayor has spoken so much in behalf of uh, the local government unit of Rosami City. He had expressed the desire in our common desire that a peace would always reign in the city of Rosami. As far as the city council is concerned, we are one in that intense desire and precisely we come up with that resolutions because we have in ourselves and the, and the wisdom of the members of the city council is to give more no? more service and effective service and effective good with concerns for the interests of our constituents. Precisely, uh, the members of the city council are mandated to protect the interests of our constituents. Moment Gane, that we come up with that uh, uh, resolution. The desire to have a peaceful talk with our chief of police, whom we have deeply acknowledged his immense contribution as far as peace and order is concerned in the city. Kitaktanan have enjoyed so much of his presence in Osami City. We really deeply acknowledge that. To continue with this bonding that we have, Our PNP force, of course, headed by the chief of police and the local government of Kusamis, the Honorable Ando, Ando Ominal. We really want to cross our fingers with him that we should continue in our service to the people of Osamis. The desire to talk with him as being the first move of the member of the city council is an expression that we want to have I strong ties with him. Like what the other mayor have just said earlier, na, we want to have a good and harmonious relationship. Precisely, we have this risk on Bisanpa in a few days that have been loves. We just keep silent. However, the time has come for us to also articulate our side because we have a common desire to have a lasting peace of Osami City, of which we have started already. For peace and development that all of us is dreaming for at Osami City. And personally, if ever there are some misunderstanding in the action that we have, we do express sincerely our apology. Para mapadayo na to, what we have been started, the peace and unity, a bonding that we have 
started. Thank you. Salamat kayo, Vice and Mayor Mambaybineri. Let's hear it from our city councilors. We'll start with Honorable Lori Fuentes Cipres up to Honorable Edenki Suizo and then after we have decided starting with Attorney Mars. Mayong muntag ka na itong tanan sa tanang ko sa mismo na naminaw ka rin din he may muntag ka na ito. Isip sa ako ang pagkuna ko na ako kayong i-acknowledge ang unsay na himo ni Hepe sa ato ang nakbayan. Isakribisyon niya ang iyahang kinabuhi pati na sa iyahang pamilya para lang gyud aron pangko nato ang kalinaw na ato ang gitagamtan ni tagamtan karon mo nang uh, kami sa council as new fight sa pagpangalagad uh, gikuha lamang namo ang mulo sa tao sa katawhan pero wala pod na mo na consider unsay unsay punto po ni Hepe o nang diining kabuntagon ka ron ako mangayo po o pasaylo sa Uh, dinali ang pag-disapprove without consideration o nang uh, sa tanang mga tao sa nagsuporta sa kang hepe sa amo ang grupo uh, sorry give ka ayo na uh, nabuhat na mo ka to but Rest assured na ang amo ang suporta para sa kalambuan o kaayuhan sa pag-asenso sa atong dagbayan. Mao kayod kanay amo ang tinguha sa na mapalambok, mahatagan na to, kalinaw ang ato ang dagbayan. So, sa ako ang kabahin, again, ah, uh, para ka natong tanan, ako mga yoo, pasaylo. O ako lang gayong giampo sa kanunay na kaming tanan na ali ang karundinhi sa pagpangalagad sa ato ang dagbayan, nagampo ako na ang giya unta sa ginoo magkauban ka na mo. Kay kining amo ang pag anhi karon dinhi dili ni para lamang sa amo ang kagalingon kun dili para kini sa katawhan sa usamis so uh, ako again mapasalamaton sa atong haling, halangdong amahan na mahatagan o uh, tubag or kalinaw para aron sa ingon na uh, maangko na to ang kahapsay. So, dili na nako as on, napaabot na nako ang unsay ako ang gusto, unsay na asa ako ang kasing-kasing. Daghang salamat. Mayong buntag ang inyong tanan. Um, sa ako ang kapahing isip, konsihal, 
Kadu na manggaling wala na saktan sa akong matimod anon na pagtuo sa akong pagwarog ni ining resolusyon na, um, na maong kini ang tingo o tinguha o bang mulo sa maong kadaghanan sa katauhan sa Rosamis o kapa na ang manggaling ko'y kasaypanan sa inyuhang pagtuo o pagsabot. Mga yuko, kinasing-kasing na dispensa labi na sa ato ang Rosamis nun, sa ato ang Chief of Police o to all the local PNP. In James 4.10, humble yourselves before the Lord and He will lift you up. Dagang salamat. Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, address to Sir Jovis Pinido. My apologies, sir, sa akong decision, which is, I believe, na uh, sakto. As a member of uh, City Council of Osamis, I saw the wisdom of my colleagues. That's why I stand for it. So, hope, Sir Jovi, one of these days, you can give us your time. We can sit and talk between you and the City Council. For further, uh, further, further reconsideration, if it is possible. Yeah, that's all. Ginawag nga 
Naging luntang kapapun ka atasa. Mahayaw ko ba na istorya? Naging luntang panahon nga. Maka, maka istorya hanggang tao paling. Aroon nga uh, dilita magpaipikto sa aning gamay kayo nga, nga sitwasyon nga nung ramag bidako na hinuon ng taon pero pero nagkalunay kong nagkampo sa ginoon nga mapatsak pinita na dili ni siya ma dili ni siya mahimong instrumento nga nga ang katong mga dili gusto o kalinaw o mulahok o pan sila magmadaungon so ang ako pagkaampok na dili yun mo daw ang kaaway so Sir Jopi na kami na ang suporta sa ito uh, barangay captain sa Osamis sa uh, kausa nato sa um, kahusay ng kanina sa Osamis so wala to ang ako ang gusto ng pahot sa katawan o sa ito ang mga polis uh, polis na yun kaya kaya special coverage special coverage